Right. Back now. So. Let's get finding the syringe. Guess that's all we can do, to be honest. Um, hearing a lot of zombies come out of doors here kind of makes me a bit worried. Um... I may have left it in here, actually. You can look on the map, can't you, to see exactly whereabouts things are. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, obviously. But, um... Yeah, I... Uh, it's going to be tough to find it. See, it's other, other there. Let's just hope it is in here. It'd be great if it is. Um... I mean, there's, uh... There's conical glasses, which is good. We could always always try and use those instead, um, but I'm not sure that is. Oh, fantastic! There we go. We've already bloody found it. So where do we need to head? Oh god, I can't remember. Storage room, locker room. May have been the storage room. I'm not sure it is. I think that's where we just came from. No, I mean recently were actually. Um, pharmacy, intensive care unit. Yes. It's there. We need to go down there. Cool. We're doing this. We are... We are bloody doing this scenario, aren't we? I can't believe how well we're doing. I really can't. Um... But how do we get down there? I don't remember. It's been a while. Now, if I'm, if I'm going to have to repeat this level, I'm really going to have to watch back my, um, playthrough. Because... Like... This is really heavy on memory. Seriously heavy on the memory. I mean, like, I've got to remember three things right here. And, uh... So, we, we, we need to head back up the stairs and we need to inject that. I'm assuming that we're very, very slowly taking Dorothy down, if you get what I'm saying. This way. Oh, shit. Okay, well, thank you for opening the door for us. He's still here. Still very much alive by the looks of things. Ooh. Okay, so... Just have to be careful, I guess. Um... I'm a bit confused what we're going to do about Dorothy. If, if this injection here doesn't actually do anything. But let's hope it does. Oh, for crying out loud, she came back. That's good. Okay, what's this here? It's a covering medicine base. Right, sounds like he's down here with us. We better hurry up with this. Uh, maybe I should have brought a few conical flasks down with me. They're not conical flasks, are they? Oh, I don't know what they're called. But let's just call them bowls. Um, right, so it was over here. We take a syringe full of this shit. Let's have a look to see if there's any other items in here. I don't think there is, but it's worth a look, isn't it? Because uh, we, we are literally, like, running through this level and taking supplies with us as quickly as possible. Just taking everything that's essential. I could really do with that axe again now. Now that I'm running out of bloody ammo again. We still haven't found a shotgun. I'm really, sh I'm really like, confused about the shotgun. Uh, so... Let's get back up there, I guess. F crying out loud. It's four shots. Another empty syringe. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I didn't notice that there. Could have made life easier. Well, oh, fucking hell. Come on, let me past. Ah, oh, you... You dick. You are, you've got to be taking the meat. That's the only way I can get past, really, I guess. Is by going in here, turning around, and going back out again. Hopefully I don't get poisoned in the process, but... It'd be quite horrifying if I did. Uh, so he, he just full-on blocks the corridor. Yeah. Didn't notice the body up there before. There is someone stuck up there. So our good friend Dorothy feeds on 
pretty much flesh by the looks of it. So it's a carnivorous plant. And this dude has made it his responsibility to make this level as hard as possible by making this plant really fucking lust for blood and flesh. Which is nice. We do love our carnivorous plants in Resident Evil, don't we? Uh, I'm guessing Mr. Axe wielding meat. Oh, there he is. Oh. That's nasty. Um, healing item in there. I don't think it's going to be any use. It's a weapon as well. Let's just go up and try, try injecting this plant again. I never thought we could take two syringes out with us. That would make life a bit easier, perhaps, because then we could just run from point to point, like, just, you know, doing it as quickly as possible. Kind of worried he could get up these stairs easier than us. Falls as much. You dick. 71%, right. Where was it? Oh, I know where it is. It's pretty easy to get to, to be honest. Oh, okay. So we'll get in there, we'll inject it, and then... Fuck knows what happens after that. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it! I thought I got past that. Maybe you won't poison us, Mr. Pineapple Head. I'll call him. Oh, uh, what? It's another? It's not very nice, is it, game? I don't think he has poisoned us. Oh, shit! How on earth did bloody... Kev Kevin, um, what was he called? David and Yoko get hit by that guy, because he literally has to charge that up a lot, doesn't he? Takes him ages. Okay, here we go. So we can use that on that. I'm gonna flat out just use that, uh... You see, that's what I thought it would do. It would just melt that away. And that is... Ah, oh, here we go. Right, it's doing something to Dorothy. <gasps> Okay, that's nasty. Don't like that. Um. Ew. Reminds me of lady bits. Let's not go there. Um. Let's go down there then. I'm pretty much think we're gonna end up dying doing this, but you know, it's worth. It'll be fun, at least. Oh come on, dude. I like feel like I've pretty much almost finished this level and you're the only thing that's stopping me from doing so. Long pole. We're not going to fight Dorothy with that, are we? Uh, I'm just going to have to hope that there's some kind of reasonable weapon down there which I can do something with in order to, <laughs> to do something to Dorothy. Otherwise, we're pretty much fucked, aren't we? Uh, we're just going to have to try and collect weapons up on the way there or something, I don't know. It's not going to go well. I can pretty much guarantee that. Because we're just running down there with a handgun and three bullets, I think, or something like that. Hmm. That's assuming there's a boss fight. There could well not be one. You never know. Oh, great. Don't you dare! Okay, I somehow ended up behind him there, I won't question it, let's just keep moving. Ugh. How the hell I'm surviving this is beyond me. Probably would have done a much better job if I would have figured out that Alyssa also has the duck ability. Which I, I knew all along, but for some reason it just kind of escaped my head. Let's go in here and see if we can get any kind of healing item or something. Uh, locker room, okay, that's good. Because I remember we went into the locker room very briefly and uh, we had to get out of there pretty quickly because of the bloody axe murderer. Now, yeah, the good thing about it is that's absolutely useless. What? Okay, let's, let's get in here then. See if this actually works, because I've always been tempted to try. Oh, you dick! He knows. He is clever. Right. Because I was thinking we we could use these empty containers 
fill them up, and we could well actually take down Dorothy. You never know. It's a possibility. I mean, the, the opportunity is actually there, and he's still after us. So. Right, cunt. Uh, yeah, I'm just entering these to see if I can find any more flasks. Because you never know. Might be some somewhere. And then if... Uh, if we could pick up a few, that would be very useful. Uh, you never know, though. This may just lead us into trouble. So I'll just check briefly around these areas. We'll go down to the uh, chemical room again. See if there's any flasks down there. And you never know, we might actually get some useful items. Nah, I don't really like there's anything going on here. And has he come through here? Oh, he hasn't, that's good. Huh. So he's on the other side of here somewhere or something, I don't know. <sighs> So far, this has been a very fun scenario, to be honest. I'm quite glad this has come after Underbelly, because Underbelly was very dull, as I mentioned. But this has been a lot more entertaining. Um, there's also David and Alyssa somewhere around here. Sorry, David and Yoko. My god, the names! Why do I mix them up so easily? Um, and if we could, like, pull, pull some items off their corpses, that might be useful. No, he's around here somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Fuck it. Come on, let's just keep moving. I don't know where the hell they are. It's apparently their corpses were around here somewhere, but they appear to have disappeared. Um, Basement floor one. Oh, balls. I just remembered there's the fucking thing in the way, isn't there? A little plant. Twatting thing. Uh, we have five shots. Okay, fuck it. Two, three, four. Uh, syringe. There's nothing in that. It's no use. It's a recover medicine base. Again, we still haven't figured out the use for that. Does anyone want to drop me a hint about what I could use that for? Is that something exclusively George can use or something like that? Um, because uh, that's kind of what I'm assuming. Maybe I should have brought George along. Uh, right, let's <laughs> let's fill up these and hope for the best, shall we? Uh, we could also fill up this. I mean, no harm in that. It might be what we have to do. You never know. And uh, yeah, let's go confront Dorothy, shall we? And oh, balls! I just remember we've got to get past the bloody plant again, haven't we? <sighs> so. It, it seems to enjoy coming back to life every time we need to get past this place. Which is nice of it. Yeah, fuck you. Ah, I'm probably gonna get poisoned or something. Can't we just get through the hole? <sighs> Never mind. Okay, so the intensive care unit, also known as the home of Dorothy. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I'm hoping the things from the ceiling have gone. No, they haven't. They're still very much alive. Oh, well. It, yeah. We need to find a place whereby we're actually going to be safe, which is definitely not there, is it? Yeah, I can't see myself finishing this. Uh. Could do? Never know. Um. Shit. This is doing shit. This is literally doing shit. Like, come on, get me out. Let me get out of there. Thank you. Alyssa's not doing so well. Ugh, come on. I can do this. Oh, shit. No, that's not doing anything. Never mind. I think we're kind of fucked. <laughs> At least I tried. At least I tried. Maybe if I had more of those conical flasks, I could have done something. Never mind. Is there any items around here? Might be useful. You never know. I don't think there is. It was worth a go. There's a pole. Go on. Let's give it a go, shall we? You never know. Might be able to do something. Oh my god! 
we could actually well kill it with this. That would be amazing. I don't think that's going to happen, but it'd be funny if we managed it. Come on, Elissa. Don't get your brain pulled out. Oh, whatever. Now nah, we're dead. Oh, not this again. Is there any healing eyes around this room by any chance? Yeah, I kind of got the feeling there wouldn't be. Eh, well. We tried. We really did. I never thought I could could have saved the game before this, but we've got to come a long way in order to get back to there. I could write myself a nice little guide, though, and try this level again. And I think we pretty much nailed it already. Really impressed with how well I've done with this so far. Right. Okay, I'm ready to confront Dorothy again. Just gearing up my characters before I do so. As you can see, I've got plenty of this shit. Uh, handgun, stun gun. Still got all these shotgun bullets. I don't clue what they're for. He's got loads of that chemical. It's almost tempting to take that off and give him the gun, to be honest, because they are relatively more powerful. And I think it would get me to the end of the level. Um... We are lacking healing items. For some reason, these pairs seem to th prioritise bloody sticks and rubble over healing items. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to hoard them now. I'll give I'll give this health spray to someone. Even though there was one in the other room, which for some reason they didn't bother taking. Okay, let's try this. I'm kind of thinking that they probably won't actually do anything to Dorothy. They'll just kind of stand there as per usual. But, you know, whatever. And I imagine we're going to get poisoned, which isn't going to be too good. They may serve as a distraction. That's better than nothing, really, isn't it? Oh, fucking hell. Get off me, please. Thank you. I'm convinced that doesn't do any damage to you. Thinking it pretty much just uh, lowers your infection rate a bit or something. I don't know. Right. Hopefully this goes better, but I have just saved, so... If it doesn't, then, you know, we can quite rightly come back here, and it won't be too much of a tr problem. Oh, fuck. I mean, at the wrong thing at the moment, but never mind. Right, here we go. Now, maybe not the right thing, aren't I? Shit. That's gonna grab me. You're gonna try anyway. Go for them, they're more tastier. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Let's move closer. There we go. Uh, the only problem with this is you have to keep on getting new ones out, don't you? Uh, hopefully this is doing plenty of damage. If I shout for help, maybe they'll do something. Oh, fuck. Come on, guys. You've got guns, you've got shit, you can do things. You don't need to just stand there doing nothing. Come on. Oh, shit. Help me, please. Well, they'll be able to get me up. That's one good side to this. Because I'm on the floor now, aren't I? So, come on, help me up. Help me up. Thank you. That's great. Right. There we go. See, we're back. We're okay. For now. Right. Just keep going, shall we? Oh, come on. This has got to kill it. Ah, there we go. Right. It's done something, at least. That that was quite tough, to be honest, because I know for a fact that those bloody yellow chemicals, they do a lot of damage. Actually, I think it might have been the grey ones that did more. Hmm. Can't remember. Oh, come on. Oh. That's fucking gross. Well, this is meant to be a horror game. It's been the most horrific scenario yet, I've got to say. Oh, that was vile. I'm going to guess that that's the uh, the carer of it, the guy who was leading me through the forest and everything. Caution? Right. Why is it saying caution? Oh shit. Okay, that's probably why. What are we doing then? Have we got to get out of here as quickly as possible or something? Where can we go though? I mean like... Um doesn't seem to be many escape routes I can think of, to be honest. 
let's just head for the uh, front door for now. If that doesn't work, I'm not really sure where we can go. Hmm. But obviously, this place is probably holed together by the boss that we just killed, so that does kind of make sense why this is now collapsing. Um, front door's here. No, I can't go back out. Shit. What are we doing then? Any ideas? Oh, fuck. Um, I mean, like, I'm completely lost for ideas here. We could climb onto the roof? Is there anywhere we could go? Any exits? Anything? I don't remember. Oh! Right. Yeah, there was a door back there, wasn't there? It won't be... A, it won't be... It won't be entangled by the vines anymore. I can go that way. It was through here, wasn't it? So we've gone the wrong way, kind of, there. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get there before the bloody building collapses. So it's one of these two doors directly uh, ahead of me or something. I don't remember. No. Oh, shit. Um. No, I've gone past it. It's here. It's this one right here. Come on, Yoko. Everyone, come on. We're getting through the scenario together. Because that would just be fantastic, considering I, you know, managed to lose them at, towards the beginning. Kind of wondering if I'm going to have to deal with uh, Mr. Axe Killer, though. Because you never know. He might decide to follow us. Ah, oh, lovely. This is where I, they ditched a load of herbs as well. So that's all good, isn't it? Uh, Alright. No need to be like that, is there? Okay, so we're just going out here. And that leads us out into the forest again. Not sure that's a great thing, but... Because there's still loads of zombies in the forest, to our knowledge. Hmm. Um... Uh, right? Is it actually going to load something? So I'm getting... Slightly worried. Huh. Well, this is awkward. Come on, you can load it. What's out here? Are you going to show me? That would be marvellous. I really want to see what you've got in store for me outside. Oh dear. Okay, it looks like it's crashed. That's bad. Um... I'll try a jit. Hmm. What should I do? This is the first time games ever bloody frozen while doing a let's play. At least I think it is. I think it's happened before. I can't remember when, but you know. Um, I'll try ejecting the disc. Put it back in. Because sometimes that helps load whatever it is it's trying to load. Because uh, obviously it reboots the game, doesn't it? Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm thinking it kind of failed to load the last cutscene there. But there we go, that's the end of the level. What I can do, I guess, is go and purchase that cutscene and then watch it right after we've actually saved the game. Uh, it's just good that we can actually rewatch them, isn't it? Find out exactly what happened. It'll probably be shit anyway, because most of the bloody ending cutscenes are for this. So there we go, that was Flashback, and that was fantastic. I've got to say that was the best scenario yet. It just it just completely destroyed the other ones. It's interesting in many ways. It's got more of a horror aspect to it for a start. Secondly, it has a lot more to tie in with the other games, whereas the others just seem to be random scenarios with zombies, essentially. I mean, like, you think of Outbreak and it's just a... It's just a bar with zombies, and then you've got Wild Thing, it's just a zoo with zombies, and then Underbelly, it's just a subway with zombies, and it's not really that interesting, but Flashback genuinely has a lot to do with the plot, and I can see exactly why Alyssa would be the canon character to use for Flashback, because I think she probably did some kind of report on it previously, because if you remember, she is she was actually having flashbacks as we were going through, I'm pretty sure that's probably a unique feature to her. So that was kind of cool. Okay, so uh, let's let's check out this cutscene, and hopefully it won't freeze. 
So movie, where is it? Somewhere around here. Flashback, enter AI. No green thumb. Leaving the mystery behind, here we go. So we'll purchase that and we'll check it out. If it will load. It might not do, you never know. If all else fails, I'll just have to check it out on YouTube. Because I'm sure someone, some lovely person will have uploaded it. Yeah, it looks like it's freezing. Okay, I'm going to watch it on YouTube right now. And um, I'll have to nick someone else's video of it. <laughs> Once the past is buried, it can't be dug up. The open wounds are left to fester and rot. But is it best to just leave it like this? I really hope that you guys have enjoyed me actually flying through the scenario. Makes a damn change, doesn't it? I think this is the best we've actually done in a scenario since Outbreak, actually. I just loved it. I love Flashback. It was very smooth, very flowing, you know. Parts of it were linear, as opposed to just being completely open. Oh, you know, there was in some of the scenarios, there's just too many options. You don't know what to focus on, but Flashback, it's kind of obvious. So in the next part, we'll be moving on to Desperate Times, which looks like the final scenario, but actually isn't. I'm assuming we unlock one extra after we finish, after we finish that. Who knows? And, uh, well, you can expect that after the next session of Tomb Raider 3. Hopefully, things will be going alright with YouTube now. I've managed to sort of compromise my new video format for uploading as such. I discussed that a lot in Tomb Raider 3. And things seem to be going alright, to be honest, so... Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to get back on to uploading a video a day. So if if that is the case, you can probably expect another another session of this next week. Uh pretty much midweek again. Perhaps a bit earlier this time. So thank you very much for joining me. Of course, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to drop me a like, as always. And well, I've got to say, thank you very much for joining me because this Let's Play has exceeded my expectations hugely because it was pretty much, I don't know, it, it like the number of times it's kind of dwindled a bit and the number of people watching it has dropped dramatically and I've just lost interest of people. I guess it was because, well, it's been nearly a year since I started this Let's Play, admissibly. I mean, I started in August of last year towards the end of it and I wasn't very frequent with my parts. You know, in between each scenario, we could have had all ten scenarios done by now, or we should have done, because that would have been like one a month or something like that, but no, we're still on the bloody, well, we're just moving on to the ninth scenario a year later, aren't we? So, you know, um, that, that that's probably my fault that the numbers have dwindled and stuff, but hey, things are doing well at the moment, I'm really happy about that. Uh, the first part has nearly broke 2,000 views. Really shocked about that. It's just a shame that the front end of this Let's Play isn't quite as good as things are at the moment. But hey-ho, can't always have everything go completely smoothly as such. So thank you very much for watching, of course. Thank you so much, you know. Uh, I, I, I guess that's a goodbye then. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again next part.